Hello YouTube, today I'm going to teach you guys how to port forward your Skyrim server. Now if you're having trouble connecting to your friends or, you know, connecting to your own computer, um, this is because you are blocked by a firewall. Now, I'm going to have this server open here so we can test it. But I will show you how to port forward. Um, hmm. We're going to need to get that IP address again. So your IP address is whatever. Um, whoever you're connecting to, whoever's going to be the host, it may be you or maybe a friend, you need to get their IP address. You get them to search this and get their IP address, and um, they need to give you their IP address so you can connect to them. Or in your case, you know, connect to yourself if you have the server set up on your computer. Now, first things first, we're gonna do um, we're gonna open up command prompt. So, in Windows 8 and Windows 10, you're gonna right click and do the command prompt. Um, in Windows 7 or in earlier version, um, you're gonna click on the little start menu and you're gonna search CMD and that will open up command prompt for you or it'll have an application you can open up that that'll be command prompt so we're gonna open up command prompt and uh, type in ip config ip config now it should give you a local address and that is the address of your computer or your server, or whatever you're hosting on, or your client, uh, yeah, your client. Sorry guys, it's late. Um, <laughs> and then it's gonna give you your default gateway. Your default gateway is gonna be what is most likely blocking your connections, um, or if you're hosting, it's going to be blocking the connections that are outside of your network, which is good. It's what it's supposed to do, but in some cases, you want to, you know, host a server or something, it gets in the way. So we're going to take this number and we're going to type it into our internet browser. So in my case, it's 10.0.0.1. And you should have a login. Um, login will always most likely be admin. And then your password will be either on the bottom of your router or it may actually be customized. You may need to figure out who who changed it or, you know, who's in charge of the router. Anyway, go log in. Go to, it's most likely under advanced settings, but search for port forwarding. And you're going to want to enable port forwarding and add service. In my case, I've already added it, but we'll go through the steps again. Um, other service, we're going to go Skyrim Online. Um, IP address is your internal IP as your computer. So whatever you're hosting on, whatever your computer is, it's going to be the IP address computer that you're on. And it should give you IPv4 address and that is my computer so that goes in and we're going to put in the port 1283 starting and ending port you're going to save and it should set it right there so once you've done that we can go back and what we need to do now is we need to forward our windows firewall So it should prompt you for this when you install the application when you first run it, but you know if you accidentally click deny or something, then you know you're kind of in trouble. So you need to port forward your Windows firewall. So we're gonna open up File Explorer. Um, we're gonna go to Control Panel. We're gonna search in Control Panel for firewall. Windows firewall gonna go to advanced settings now this may be a little complicated may look a little scary but it's alright you're gonna click on inbound rules 
go to action, new rule, port. Uh, specific port is going to be 1283. File the connection. Skyrim Online. Finish. Now we're going to outbound rules, action, new, port, same thing, 1283. Allow the connection. Next. Skyrim Online. Man, I am tired. Okay, so I have three because I've done this a couple of times. Um, now, they should be able to connect. And of course, they need to have your IP address if you're the host on their Tamarill online that that should be right here and you should be able to log in and connect to them or log in and connect to your own server thank you guys for watching